So, okay. Um, I forgot this video. Got the other two down. Got the quick check. Okay. I told you I would do a video on this for especially period one. Okay. So I'm going to email to period one and I'll post it up for period two also. Okay. So, um, here you make sure you pretend that the side on the, um, here doesn't exist. Okay. Always look for the variable side. The other side doesn't exist. You need to make, because it's a plus or a minus, you make equal to zero. Um, you want it equal to zero, so you minus three and one third for zero. That gets you a zero here. So what you do to one side, you must do to the other side. I wiped out negative. Um, okay. You get a zero here, so zero plus k is k equal to, okay, what you do to one side, you must do to the other, so minus three and a third here, okay, so you need to work on this side. Common denominator is 12, um, four times three is 12, so you have to times here by three also, that makes nine, three time, times four makes 12, so you times four here also, that makes four. Four, you get 13 over 12 well 6 you have to add they're both negative so you can get negative 9 um, you can't have it improper you divide divide 13 by 12 you get 1 remainder 1 take this whole number 1 add it to this that makes you negative 10 okay your remainder now is your new numerator this doesn't count anymore the new numerator is the 1, and the denominator still stays the 12. That's your answer, k equals to that. Okay, now here, number 2, um, you pretend this side doesn't exist. Okay, mm, I'll make it as dark as possible. There you go. Um, the other side, you need to get rid of the negative 5 over 12 because it's multiply. You divide, and when you do divide, you take the reciprocal. So this negative still stays a negative, 12 over 5. Okay, that cross all cancels out to be 1, and 1 times n leaves it n. Because you multiply by a negative 5 over 12, you need to do the same on the other side. Multiply by negative 12 over 5. Okay, a negative and a negative makes a positive. So that you can't cross cancel, you go negative 48 over 25. 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, you multiply like that. That's how we get the answer. It's not a negative, it's a positive because a negative and a negative is a positive. Okay, um, you can make it into a mixed number, it'd be 1 and. Um, 20, uh, 23. So your answer is 1, 23 over 25 because 48 divided by 25 one time, um, 25 with a remainder of 23. That's your whole number. That's your remainder. That's no longer 48, it's 23. Okay? C. Same thing with C. Um, I'm going to explain it the same way. Invisible 1 here, that's negative 1 tenth. Reciprocal is 10 over 1, negative. So multiply on the other side, negative 10 over 1. Okay, cross cancel, cross cancel. So that's 1, 1 times P is P. Um, a positive times a negative is going to be a negative. Cross cancel. That's negative 2 and 1. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 over 1, or just negative 6. That's how you do those. Now, fractions to decimal, I mean decimal to fraction, okay? Um... This is not repeating, so this is your whole number. That's the whole number. The 0.7 is your fraction. It's in the tenths place. So put 7 over 10, and then reduce it if you can. You can't, you leave it like that. Now, 
for B, it's different. It's repeating. The, your whole number is 4, but the repeating is a different problem. You need to find the other answer. So this one's repeating at um, point 0.18 in the hundredth place. So you multiply um, that by 100, not the 4. The 4 we brought down as a whole number already, times 100, we get 18.18, um, 18, 18, so forth. Okay, you make that equal, let me write it smaller. So I'm going to run out of room. 18.18, um, 18, okay, dot, dot, dot. You make that, make that equals to 100x because we multiply by 100 minus 0 0.1818 because we want to get rid of all that decimal equals to 1x or just x. We get that, we get um, 18.0000 equals to minus that, that's a 1 remember, um, 99x. And divide by 99 x then is equal to 18 over 99, which can be reduced to 4 divided by 9 here is 2 over 11. Okay, use a calculator for this, round to the nearest eighth. Let's find the calculator, um, clear it. Square root of 8, uh oh, my, this calculator is different. 8 square root. 2.882, this is 2.828, and it goes on forever um, to the nearest tenth place. Tenth place is here, okay, and this is what we're wanting. This is a 2, so it's 5 or lower, so this stays the same. So my answer is just 2.8, rounded to the nearest tenth. Okay, so that this will be on your test, but on your test tomorrow, I will have like a four here. So, I mean Friday, so you have a four times square root of eight, and that would be, you know, you use a calculator for that. You take that and times it by four, and that's your answer, then round. Okay, make sure you understand that.